Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Fantasy High, season one being taken out of context. I've never heard of this. I have no idea what this is, but uh, it should be fun. This video is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link down below. Description will get you there. Throw a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You come check it out and let's go. Now we can answer the age old question of what if John Hughes ran a tabletop RPG game? Fantasy High's Dimension 20's debut campaign is a coming of age tabletop RPG on College Humor's streaming service, Dropout. College Humor. Oh my God. <laughs> the amount of time I spent on that website back when I was much younger is crazy. I had no idea they were still around today. Follows the story of six intrepid heroes. Come join our adventures as they tackle monsters and midterms, bullies and bugbears, dungeons and detention. It also includes two bonus live shows featuring guest stars Brian David Gilbert and Griffin McElroy. Introduction, welcome one and all to Dimension 20. Our cast of players will assume the role of heroic adventurers embarking on a dangerous quest. There we go, that's easier to read. Our story takes place in the world of Spire. Spire mostly conforms to your expectations for a world of swords and sorcery with one notable exception, and that's Elmville. Elmville is a little town in a nation called Solus. Solus may be home to elves, orcs, dwarves, and gnomes, but it resembles more of a 1950s through 1980s America. There are several schools in Elmville, but our story begins at Eggfort Adventuring Academy, <laughs> the world's premier training ground for would-be heroes. Our story begins with six freshmen on their first day of school, and the first bell's just about to ring. Without any further ado, Dimension 20 proudly presents Fantasy High. That is a great idea. for that. Number one, that's a great idea for a channel. Number two, that's a great idea for d and I've never played. I've heard about it. Um, I've never played any real-life RPG or anything like that. I tend to shy away from RPG video games just because... Ugh, the weapon systems in those are just very confusing most of the time. So I kind of shy away from those. And that's why I don't play uh, Assassin's Creed much anymore. Because it went from adventurer parkour game to hardcore RPG. And I'm like, eh, I don't want to be stuck here messing with my weapons for half the game. I'd be Riz. Cool. How big is this thing's butthole? Cute. <laughs> Um, you My name is Fabian Aramain Seacaster. Seems like a Son poignant question. Of Biddle Seacaster, I have finished off your former master, and now you belong to me. Ooh. Ooh. Daddy. <laughs> Lunch, lad. How festive. Oh, I hope I haven't done anything as a dungeon master to insinuate that you have to jump on tables. And all you're hearing in your head is Zelda's beautiful Guys, I always thought I had daddy <laughs> issues, but I'm starting to think I have mommy issues. I think you have a yeah, bunch of issues. issues. Yeah, it's just Period. issues. <laughs> I suppose I'm technically the ball this time, but not always! <laughs> we will conquer this world of mortals and send their souls to hell. Uh, yes, yes, in due time, <laughs> by now to the ice cream shop. <laughs> It's like I'm in the middle of the desert, starving with only canned food and no can opener. Here, I have no problem with your sexuality. This is not. I think that you feel like you have a lot to offer, and please take this the right way. Sure. You don't. <laughs> I don't think it's actually. <laughs> I like the fact that they have the set all made up like that. That's really nice. Rock and roll to be rude to weight stuff. I'm not being rude. So this yep. only? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's a raisin? Raisin? It's, a... it's like a grape that got old. That got tired. Kind of. It got tired. <laughs> hot, very hot. I'd like to create a minor illusion of a um, of a, a sexy <laughs> rat. 
And with those four hours, I just end up doing great works. She leans forward and kisses you on the mouth. Ah! Oh! The thing where they took, <laughs> they all had coats that they loved, the indigenous people, and they burned all the coats, like after they had already won. They just, they just piled the coats and they lit them on fire and they were like, these were ugly anyway. She did right. That's a hot rat. That is honestly a hot rat. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Brown is a nice young lady. Way we roll and go. <laughs> Come on, you dogs! And a bunch of pirates just swing oh, in on ropes. Pop <laughs> out of barrels. This happens a lot in this house. Uh, you gotta beat the hell out of that thing to get it nice and hard and sharp. You know. <laughs> up, guys, for real. <laughs> up. Best of luck, dude. Ooh, beignets, what? Um, hello, um, um, the metal Mr. Part. Sylvester, <laughs> hi. Yes. My name is Fabian, uh, Fabian Seacaster. What exactly happened sea. to your junk? Oh, we'll sing till the sun rises. <laughs> All right. Two, three, four. Sally Brown is a nice young lady. We're we're all right. Right. Okay. And I take some healing, but I don't need it because I'm still full Takes health. Takes you back to Assassin's Creed this. Black Flag. One big hand holds us all a dying big hand a uh, wood mage hand to pipe summon me and thou. And then, uh. <laughs> what? And then I'm gonna what go did like. You... What? Uh? <laughs> I thought this book was a can opener, but I mean, yeah. it's not! <laughs> um, he appears, you see, he goes, Is Arthur Eggford black? Yeah! Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. No. I got a crayon up there. What? I got a you have a whole crayon in your nose. Let yourself die. It will feel good. Yeah, cry. Yeah. 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 Wait. Cry. Everything's good. Nothing here's against the law. What? I don't know if they're gonna be down with a rat in the ice cream shop, but we can give it a shot. Yeah, we'll come in with a full demon, but they might draw the line at a rat. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Helio was here right now, he would pop out of a corn husk. No, seriously, the Harvest Men, when you go there, you learn so much because you have to stay awake for 20 hours while they're talking to you. There's a pop quiz, and if you pass, you get to go to bed for two hours. But if you don't, you have to clean. You guys, I have a crazy idea. Damn, that'd be awful. <laughs> and you know what? I might be in love with a woman, and that's crazy. Oh, that's cool. No. I think he's going for the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. You seem really non-violent. I think that's really cool. Violence is never the answer. Obviously a good role. <laughs> oh, you guys oh, just need to know the handshake for the Harvestman. You know the Harvestman handshake? That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Will you teach it to all of us? Uh, I'm not supposed to, but I'm also not supposed to eat this much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a truck stop bathroom sucking off a border patrol because I was trying to sneak an iguana to my friend's place. He had a cockfight ring, all right? <laughs> 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 Was that the most sane thing I've done all night? <laughs> you know, we spent all this time saving other people's lives. Seems like we can never really save our own. Our own, I know. Yeah. Real quick, before Thank we you. exit the gym, uh, I'd like to cut off that man's hand. Is that an episode of Grey's Anatomy they were reacting? <laughs> oh, you're a virgin. She detected you're a virgin, huh? Do you want to get some water and just sit down? Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go get you some water. Thank you. I'm going through a lot. My mom is dead. Greatest magic of all. <laughs> Caught him off guard. Do you remember? Is friendship. What the f yeah. So this music starts, this like distant choral music, uh, and you just see a little puppy cleaning a kitten, and you see he goes, They're natural enemies, but they're just helping each other. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to parties and dump my beer down the sink and refill the beer can with water so no one feels weird around me. Uh, yeah, no, All I right. think you should. Hey, you get in there. And, and, and like, okay. maybe just like listen to some chill music. Oh, <laughs> Everybody here is calling you pants. Yeah. Why? I didn't. Why? You sh. You sh. 
the coach's hold pants. Hold up the coach's <laughs> pants. <laughs> I'm wearing my pants. I'm you wearing my pants. We switched the pants. Very funky, young madam. Do you want this metal flower? I swing it here. It's <laughs> fucking hard. <laughs> now, this guy, he had venereal disease. He had warts all over it. But I was so drunk at that point, I don't give a shit. I sucked him off anyway. You understand me? No. Say, but Okay. <laughs> Bye. Slap him on the ass. <laughs> You're my, honestly my best friend. Oh my You're definitely God. one of my friends, man. <laughs> Sometimes it's sad to have more questions than answers, but... Uh... Live in La Vida Loca! <laughs> Both skeletons explode into dust! I'm burned to a crisp and I'm in the air. I'm like an advertisement for chicken. I need you to... Say it. Kneel before Gorgug and tell him he's a big, strong man. And I'm ugly. No one's ever gonna. I'm just like gonna me. kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sandra Lynn, here you are. Your uh, former lovers in there. Preston, here's the good news: is that uh, there's all this corn stuff going on, and your parents might be evil. I used evil the corn to masturbate the other night. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? The universe doesn't have a why. Okay, cool. Can I have sex with whoever I want? What do we say <laughs> is the relationship between luck and talent? 500 gold pieces. I jerk off. Your eyes are jerking off right now. That bird is the last <laughs> phoenix. I f that bird. Uh, I was just normal like horse, but I had my hands wrapped around his like front part, you know, like human nice. torso. And I had to like be kind of back, scooch back, cause I was I was naked, so I didn't have I, so like my <laughs> was getting hit by like the horse body. <laughs> well, we don't know anything about friends. Oh, yeah, dude, I can. I'm so good at sex. I come out of my eyes when I feel this. Way. <laughs> are, are we helping? Is this what you guys? Is this like <laughs> and I had to sort of break the news to him that there was not really going to be a chance of us being together. Um, do you guys have sex? Kristen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting you! You look at this woman. First of all, you've beefed it a couple times. For sure not your dad. Fig, you vomit a full ghost. Yeah. And also a little bit of a salami sandwich. Positive, I had a corn stuffed animal as like my primary friend. Look, for a long this time. is right. <laughs> <laughs> what country are you from? <laughs> oh, there it is. So, <laughs> this hoop skirt has over 35 pounds of material goods in it. That's. And a bunch of them already took 20 from my corn penis. Uh, <laughs> Fabian, broad shouldered, athletic, powerful, leaves on the back of the hangman. Penelope, a five foot two prom queen <laughs> in a bright pink dress. Oh, it's I'm a prom episode. I'm pinching my legs so hard because oh that's what I do when God. I'm overwhelmed sexually. <laughs> <laughs> I use message to, uh, in the quietest little whisper of a voice, as if it's coming from his own brain, just whisper, I think you're gay, dude. <laughs> I, uh, I guess your new friends. Uh, know which side their bread's buttered on, huh, Kristen? I don't know what the f*** means. Mom. I am going to clean up around here a little bit more. I've been in the corner for a long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I leave it to Bill Seacaster to sire twins in two different women. If I get a string cheese and you guys get crackers, we can make cheese and crackers for dinner. <laughs> Let's yeah. definitely do it. Hello, intrepid adventurers. Heroes. Uh, girls with this Harvestman stuff. <laughs> she nods and says, <laughs> she excuse you. Many apologies. <laughs> I saw online, I was deep in Reddit, and there were a couple tips it's for new R, lesbians. R corn. I'm so, what? I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> you see his <laughs> blows for a second. <laughs> Emily, I sometimes can't tell when you're really <laughs> me or not, okay? It's so hard to remember all the rules. You want to look cool. Well, I can certainly help you with that. Madam Sylvain isn't behind the times. We should go somewhere else. There's somewhere else. Please don't yeah. go anywhere else. <laughs> Please 
Please don't go so anywhere sorry. else. I'm begging you. There's that beach themed clothing oh, yes, store. Even you always gotta be kind. <laughs> you always gotta try your best. And there is no sense in being a f pushover. <laughs> this rules! I'm gonna die this corn. <laughs> I am. What is going on? Why are you dressed like a, a weird stripper? What? Why are you? It reminds me of whenever you have to introduce yourself and they're just like, tell me a little about yourself. And you just go, I. Um, I like, I do stuff. <laughs> He's the sun. I take my pants off. I'm sweating. Why, why did you start with your pants? That's crazy. What about an oyster? They don't have a central nervous system. An Drowning in kisses at this point. <laughs> Older people kisses. Young people kisses. If you could get back to the Strong Tower luxury apartments and maybe look after the gnomes and Galir, that would be great. Galir's got a little knife. Galir's got a little knife. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Love you. <laughs> Ultimate ninja sword <laughs> found in a for real ninja monastery that my friend Trevin found out about. How does she cast right her spells? Like a little... With the Master, long have I missed the warmth of your I'm missing so much because of these sensors. I'm glad this is in my head and no one else can hear things like that. <laughs> so metal. <laughs> All so right. Metal. Yeah, so metal to carry a <laughs> perished oyster around with you. And a glass of water. I'm a little... <laughs> This kid, so unlovable that your father would rather go to hell than stay with you. Could you please stop flirting with me? It is so. <laughs> <laughs> Spell would work on me in a million. <laughs> I saw you over here casting a spell with moonstones. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been uh, reading some stuff about moons. Performing as scared while I send Boom. the text. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, that was. I gotta go. Well, all right. I'm sorry. He was thinking that you're his dad. He does it a lot. And no, then... you're her dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cleric of Lyda. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Eggford, are you my dad? I was about to ask you the very same thing. What? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All you see is him uh, riding his mom around with oh, a little cowboy God. hat on. S uh, six, seven, nine, two, two, nine, seven. I don't, I, I didn't fully relieve myself, but a little came out. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna climb out of the toilet. And a ball. <laughs> and I'll tell you the ball. <laughs> Yeah. And police are basically an occupying army. You know what I mean? You guys want to make some bacon? He pulls a mask <laughs> over his face, pulls a lit Molotov cocktail out of his mailbag, and whoo! Hey, um, do you guys want to do body shots? Stop! <laughs> I know I can be a hard book to read, a tough no. cookie to crumble, no, a stale cracker. To eat some turkey on. <laughs> Thank you. Good time. B -b 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 good time. B -b 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 good time. Yeah, good luck. With what? Hmm? <laughs> There's a possibility, however slim, that you are your own dad. <laughs> I'm already wearing military dog tags because <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> that that was my first kiss. That's <laughs> great. Well, kiss. I'm gay. So you're gonna have to talk about this in therapy later. You work out of like an office? I work out of a skyscraper. I did the financial headquarters down in uh, Bastion City. I'm oh, bored. Wow. Kicks him out of his chair, gets on a rope, and swings sadly off into a crow's nest. <laughs> my name's Percival. Uh, my name's Hector. Uh, my name's Walter. Hello. Hi, it's very nice to There's Yo, ho, ho, ho. Accessing pornography. Stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Pause. Pause. Uh, uh, Everyone, yeah. look away. Look away. Yeah. Look away. Yeah. Do not look away. what it is. Do not Ooh, look him Pause. Like to I have love old person <laughs> as sulk and shove it into her mouth. Cool, we can do that too. Uh, huh, huh. Nice. Rules lawyer, you did it. Give me back my Lado! <laughs> Take the bin, put it where it used to be. Nothing happens. You push, and the wall of the apartment opens up. 
we are not gonna get our security deposit back. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna eat you. Cool. Every um, renter's worst nightmare. Like? Um, I like a lot of different stuff. Like I like screamo. I like emo. I like um, like punk and like some pop punk. I like I like metal. I like rage metal. I like death metal. I like scream metal. <laughs> Docking is when two uncircumcised <laughs> men <laughs> put the tips of their penises, erect penises, against one another, and they sort of fold the foreskin back, sort of on top of each other. I like mad oh, metal. God. I like hate metal. Um, I like um, uh, mad metal, you know, crazy metal. Mm -hmm. um, I like thrash metal. You know what the number one erogenous zone is, bud? Bing, bing, bing. It's the brain, okay? And it, you guys want to know a secret? Yeah. yeah, I think I like girls. <laughs> you definitely do. Uh, Smash Metal's, some of it's good. I like the older stuff. Okay. Speaking of boning down, have you seen my mother? Um, I like uh, Slice Metal is good. Um, I like Chop Metal is good. What, you, what kind of stuff are you into? The same, same stuff. Uh, I take it and I put it upside down. <laughs> You see an upside down waistband. Oh no! Wait, so we asked. Dragons notoriously <laughs> perceptive. Right. True. Um, we all know okay. That. So. I can't go right now. I have to warm up the hot pockets. <laughs> Let's see what you got. <laughs> do, 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 and starts dancing. Okay. <laughs> you got a violin bow and start playing my bass. Oh, no! <laughs> Get in the car, biz. <laughs> Okay. But it's an infinite <laughs> recurring fractal of crystalline space that you are trapped in. Cool. Dude, piss in it. And you're smaller than everything else in the world. The one thing that you can have bigger than everybody is will and grit. And that's you, kiddo. Love you, pal. Love you, dad. I'd like to find his gun. Right, but why do they need an oracle? You Except guys, that maybe they need the oracle to stop I the... found out something too. Is it that you're gay? I think I might no. be gay. No. No. Okay, but really though, no. there are the definitely mouth. gonna be seven how many, virgins how many, at how many, how many, how many? Our old clueless friend Biz, who thought he had a true friend in Riz Gutgag, is about to get shot. <laughs> I'm calling an Uber. You use the minute, go look at as much you can, jump in the Uber with me, come to my house. Uh, okay. Look, okay. Rodolfo will be here in two minutes in a Honda Civic. I have negative three index. <laughs> Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw out some love. All right, since I have no idea what Dungeons and Dragons is per se, I mean, I've just saw a video on it, of course. So I'm assuming there's obviously the dungeon master who kind of leads it, guides the story around. And then the rest of the players are just characters in the game. Players form an adventuring party who explore worlds together as they embark on epic quests and level up in experience. The Dungeon Master, also known as the DM, is the game's referee and storyteller. There's no winning or losing in D&D, at least not in the conventional way. Wait, there's no winning or losing? Why do you play the game? I guess it's for the story. D&D is a game that focuses on storytelling. The dice just helps you along. Everything is your decision, from what you look like, to how you act, to what happens next. The collective creativity in your D&D game builds stories that you'll eventually tell again and again, ranging from the stuff of legend to absurd incidents that will make you laugh years later. Have fun and remember the golden rule, never split the party. So really, it's... Basically one big improv session is what I'm kind of gathering from that. It's just all improv. And then the dice is just kind of a, if an act or an action needs to happen, you roll and the dice kind of guides you along the story. It's kind of, kind of reminds me of, I remember seeing something about an improv troupe not that long ago where it's this little game they play. I think it was Markiplier and it's like an and or if and and if game where you just kind of set the next person up on their path their path of this you kind of set the next person up on their path of the story blah 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 and then they take what you said and then build on it and blah 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 if blah 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 and blah 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 and it just keeps building into this massive story 
I'm assuming that's what this kind of is with, you know, obviously some magic, some dragons. I don't know exactly how you keep track of the leveling up or what the overall point is. I guess it's just kind of made up in the story. This is the official D&D &D website. If there is one, <laughs> this seems to be the most legitimate. Uh, it has the intro, what the game is, world's greatest role-playing game, millions of players worldwide. They have a starter set, which kind of asks the question, what exactly is in the starter set? All right, so there is like what looks like this book thing. So that's kind of interesting. So maybe it just kind of helps you along if you're not that creative. <laughs> if you're not like good at coming up with an entire world on your own, they have these little guides that'll set you up on what exactly you can play as, what your storyline could be, where you need to go. Okay, and the DM has this pamphlet with all the directional and the guides and stuff. That's interesting. I'm sure you all in the comments can let me know exactly more that goes into it. Probably clearer than me just randomly looking at a web page. Have you played Dungeons and Dragons? Do you like it? Do you play DM? Does it require a lot of thinking on your feet, improv skills? I will say the one thing that really I like about just kind of viewing it is the fact that you're in person, you're with real live humans, <laughs> and you're being social. Those are three things that are just lacking in today's day and age. Especially with video games. Video games used to be a social atmosphere. You'd do a LAN party, you'd all get together, hook up your computers to the same internet. Or you'd daisy chain like Xboxes or Nintendos to each other and you would just have all your friends playing in one room together, s talking each other to death and just being in that person, that eye contact, being able to look over and say something real quick. <laughs> Especially if you're out doing like Mario Kart. Oh gosh, those are the days. Mario Kart or like GoldenEye for trash talking was just beautiful. Cause you can just rip into someone and then immediately you fail, you get hit with a blue shell or Somebody just comes around the corner and gets you real fast. So yeah, you are you can trash talk all you want, but chances are they're gonna get you in the end. They're gonna come back and something's gonna happen to you and you're gonna be like, dang it. And now everything's online. You know, unless you play together via webcam or something like that, it is not very social at all. Mics is one thing. I mean, if you have a mic on, it's all right. But there's something, I don't know. It just doesn't have the same effect as playing in the same room as somebody. Cause you just, you feel that present. This group that I watch all the time, they'd always have cameras on their face or whatever. And it was amazing. And then they switched to just Discord only. And I gotta say, it's not as good. <laughs> it's not as pleasant. There's something about seeing the face of someone either lose in a moment or, you know, get screwed over or they get one over on somebody and the joy or the sadness. There's something about it that's just utterly human and it's amazing. That being said, I have no idea how to get all the different cameras of people on. <laughs> so I have no idea if I'll ever be able to do that. That was very funny. You can tell they get along with each other quite well. And that's obviously gonna be a great way to build relationships with people, spending that much time together and coming up with just wild stories. Tell me of your D&D stories down below in the comments. I look forward to reading them. Have you played it? Do you play it often? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That was eye-opening is what that was. I did, I've never seen anything like that before. Um, obviously, I've played board games with others, but never anything role-playing like that. It very much reminds me of those choose-your-own-adventure books where you have like options and you pick one and then you go to the next page or you go whatever page it tells you to go. You pick another option. Very similar to that, but obviously way more social. ToddReacts.com, the winter collection of merch is available right now. This is the sweatshirt currently available. There's beanies, hoodies, long sleeve tees, denim jackets, and more in a variety of colors. While you're there, pick up a membership. You can join the Discord, request your own videos, and also check out these full-length episode reactions available right now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.